Hoping to break their goal drought. In nine matches so far, they've scored only seven goals. And about that problem, we spoke to Heidelberg midfielder Theo Selamides. We've had a little bit of uh, bad luck, like most clubs usually do, uh, when they're not scoring goals, I suppose. But, well, for example, in the weekend's game, we had a couple of shots uh, hitting the post. Uh, also, a few scrambly bits that could have gone in, but it doesn't matter. It happens with everyone, I suppose. <laughs> well, uh, will you be back on target this week against Adelaide City, do you think? Well, the way we've been uh, training, uh, the shooting has been pretty good there, so we just hope that it works out on the weekend's game, yeah. Well, your new forward is Scott Patterson from Box Hill. How's he settling in? Scott's been settling in fine. Uh, he's been a bit unlucky not to have scored in the first few games that he's been playing, but I'm sure pretty soon he'll, he'll come up with uh, a bit of help for us. Uh, well, Ken Morton, your coach, uh, worked on changing your game a little bit when he joined. Uh, what's sort of been the, the most notable change? One of the changes, I feel, has been uh, a bit more surprise element into the game. I, th I don't think we're as predictable as before. Uh, it's giving players more chance to do a bit more, uh, let's say, a freer role. Yeah. Uh, in, in a simple way, that, that's a basic change. Yeah. Where does your own representative... Uh, uh, future stand now, Theo. You played for Australia. You were on their world uh, tour some years ago. Yes. Uh, are you confident of coming back in? I'd love to get right back in. Uh, that's why I've been doing extra training on my own. And uh, well, I just hope that it shows out in the games. And whoever's taking care of the national teams will will see it in me. Tell us something about the background of your game. Where did you start soccer? Well, as a as a 12-year-old, I started playing with my uh, brother's local district league clubs and in their reserve teams. I was a little squirt playing against older people, but at 13, I joined South Melbourne for four years and then uh, joined Heidelberg since I've been 17 years of age. Well, your cousin still plays at South Melbourne, of course. Yeah, Arthur. Arthur, uh, Arthur Xanthopoulos. Uh, he was a... Uh, he's one reason that drew me into playing soccer, I think, you know. I sort of looked up to him in a way, although he's only a few years older than me. Theo, your fierce rival, South Melbourne Hell, has spent about $70,000 in rebuilding their team, yet you're way ahead of them on the ladder. How do you think it's going to go at the end of the season? Well, I think uh, by the end of the season, Laurie, uh, we'll be even further ahead, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, I just think money, you know, if it was that easy to build a team, to make a good team, if it was just money involved, uh, well, you know, all the millionaires would put their money in and be guaranteed of winning a championship but it doesn't work that way well maybe we won't be that far ahead of them but uh, I definitely think we'll be ahead That's